all right so let's spend the remaining of the time reacting a little bit to what jasmine okafor aka what's her real name again i forgot her real name uh what's her real name again something okay, okay, okay i don't know this is what we know as jasmine okafor uh not girlfriend not side chick but adopted daughter of uh, mr ibu we started this story yesterday so uh please go back if you need to catch up to where we are so today we're just gonna spend the last few minutes reacting to some of the things she has to say so that we're making sure now let me warn you i will not be listening to the whole thing before i extract lessons you need to separate my lessons i'm extracting from judging her i have no plans to judge her if you're already taking sides with her you will have a tendency to feel like i'm judging her and that's okay too i just want to warn you ahead of time okay so let's get to jasmine i'm starting at about eight minutes mark because we kind of cover everything she said in the beginning let's get to jasmine let's go i sent a hundred thousand naira. she called me she thanked me said that hundred thousand will go a very long way for her i said okay subsequently i will keep in touch that was my first encounter with her after a very long period of time but that was my first time talking to her after a very long period of time after like after i left the country and everything so from there she started chatting me every day we were, we were talking subsequently she would send me for every single time we we're having conversation it was about the issues in the house and all of those things and, and at the point she started complaining to me that she's not able to reach daddy on the phone in person of mr evil that when she calls him in abuja he doesn't pick and all of that so she asked me to call daddy on her behalf and talk to daddy that daddy should um send something for her and the kids and i've been supporting her in the little way i can during that period my friends in cyprus i have i can i can call their names here i'm sure they most of them are still alive although i have no in contact with some of them because i've left cyprus for a while they they are aware some of them are aware because when i don't have i'll ask my friend oh please help me i want to send they know they know how close i was to the family and how i have I, how i was always concerned about the family wait oh is she reading something she looks like she's real okay maybe she had like an outline or something everything she wants to cover okay all right it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay we're getting there okay basically what she's talking about here is that explain, 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 because no, evidence. No, no sorry that was my happy finger sorry i didn't mean that but anyway what she was saying is that she has done so many good things not just for mr ibu but for also the wife uh stella maris okay that's what she's saying so um at this point uh, keep in mind again if you're going to help people out i want you to understand that your rewards is in heaven you're sowing treasures in heaven eh? your reward is in heaven <sighs> at the very minimum you should understand that it's not necessarily the people that you that you favor that will favor you back okay sometimes it's to come from completely different people in life right so does that mean you shouldn't have expectations no you will have expectations as a default reality of life you should manage your expectations when it comes to helping other people out you know and i'm saying that considering everything that has happened because he's been dragged to the mud uh seemingly for helping this man right so i feel her pain in that regards right but just manage your expectations when you help somebody you know when you give somebody one dollar or five dollar or two dollars at the at the light right at the traffic light when when you pull up and there's some homeless people come to you and you give them one dollar you have no expectation when it comes to that right not from that person you know that you're doing good for a person that's the same way you should think in general and if you can't afford just do as much as you can do that you, you're not looking up to it but we know that the story is much much more than that let's keep going so at one point i said i was coming back to nigeria because at that point i was um dating someone and we're talking about getting married so i had a reason to come to nigeria and i told her, i said look i'm coming to nigeria when i come to nigeria we'll sit down and talk then we'll know how to solve some of all these issues that is going on you know so i was also talking to daddy's son valentine that was in south africa i was talking to so many people in the family that that period so when i came back to nigeria i was supposed to come to Lagos. in fact she was supposed to meet me at the airport but she couldn't meet up and then i told her i was going straight to abuja i traveled with one other lady one of their family friend 
So we went to Abuja. On getting to Abuja, Daddy was really sick. He was really, really sick. That was the first video that went viral on social media that was giving him medicine. I said, Daddy, take this medicine, take the medicine. I am sure I'll put it on the screen during the course of the video. So Daddy was really sick. The condition I met him was really bad. I have a lot of videos we made that day. Asking what was happening. He said he's really down for the past two years. He don't know what is happening. I said, why haven't you gone home if things are really that bad? Go home and stay with your wife. At least she will take care of you. Now that you are here in this hotel, the name of the hotel you was then was Nana Suit. You people can go and find out how how long that he stayed in Nana Suit. I know I heard when I came, I heard he lived in. So wait, is that so? He was staying in an hotel for an extended period of time. Is that cheap in Nigeria in Abuja? Is that like some kind of cheap stuff in Ab Abuja? Hmm? I'm just wondering. Is that like cheap? Like how much if you're staying in hotels for days, that has to be expensive, right? So maybe that's where some of that money had gone. But anyway, they just showed a picture of him being in a hotel, some Nana Suite. And that's Jasmine there too. So many hotels in Abuja before finally living in Nana Suite. I'm sure people people that are watching this video, some people will be able to go there and make inquiries. It was in Nana Suite Hotel that I went and found that in. So in that Nana Suite Hotel, there are some other people that were there, some other actors. During the course of this video, I'll be mentioning some names. So if, if there's anything I'm saying that is lie, people can go and make inquiries. You know, I didn't want to come and say anything, but I've, it's it, the things things have gotten to the part where I have to speak up and I have to speak up my truth. I have to say my truth the way it is. That is the essence of telling this story. The way it is. If after knowing my truth, the people still deem it fit to condemn me, it's fine. But at least let it be that I, sp I speak let it be that I said something. Let it be that I stood up for myself. So, when I arrived at that Nana Hotel with that, with this the lady that is a family friend to, to them, that he was really sick. Then I did a video of him being sick and I put it on social media. That video caught the attention of, of so many good Nigerians. And then people started reaching out. I, I, uh, this uh, caption says pharmacophobia actor Mr. Ibu begs his daughter to take his medicine on his behalf or oh, he doesn't want to take the medicine what's happening to Mr. Ibu it's been so long we heard about Mr. Ibu what's happening to all our old our, our old Nollywood actors we haven't been seeing Mr. Ibu nobody has been hearing about him for a while now and there were some good people that were around him around that period they knew he was sick but they did not know he was that bad Benedict Johnson, a Hollywood actor, was there. La Bista was there. There's one other man. I don't really know him mutually, but I met him there. He was one of the people that was helping him then. And Bala, Mr. Bala. They had a program running, one, one a political party program that was running on that period. I can't really say much about it because I came and met, met them in the middle of it. In fact, I later found on, out that they were the ones who were sustaining his hotel bill, his food and everything. So when they saw that video, they rushed, they came and the Johnson came over, La Bista came over and some, some people in Hollywood, they came over. And immediately, it wasn't up to an hour, let me say an hour, 30 minutes, they rushed him to the hospital. Hmm. They rushed him to the hospital, Zenith, uh, Medical, Zenith Kenya Medical Center. When they took him to the hospital, I believe Benedict Johnson, by the grace of God, he's alive and healthy. He knows most of he, will, he should be able to relate to most of the things I'm going to say during this period in Abuja. They took him to the hospital. The doctor saw that they, they saw his former medical reports from the previous hospital he was. And they, what the doctor said that they, I won't forget, he said, if this medical report that he came with is the state of him, of daddy right now, that means things are really bad. And then mm -hmm. I remember then, if the people that were there can attest to the father, that he was saying, that is near, that is near, that is near. I was rebuking him. I said, that is not near, you're not dying, you're not dying anytime soon. So the hospital they started, they said they had to make a deposit of a particular amount of money. And then the Johnson and Lavista ran, were running around with some other people, the Bala man, they were running around, they were able to raise a certain amount of money. And then they made deposits at that hospital, Zenith Hospital. So they started checking that I cannot actually give details of his medical condition because I feel like that those are things that are actually personal to him. But I can actually say to some extent, the medical, the medical yeah, condition private. was really bad. It wasn't a very good report. So they started checking him all over. They had to admit him. They admitted him in that hospital for at least three months. And the people that took care of the bill that time, as far as I know, was that um, group of people that were sustaining him at that um, hotel. So when I came, the first thing I asked, I called the wife, I said, look, I'm here at the hospital in Abuja. The condition is really bad. If it's possible for you to come, come. She now said ah, that she doesn't have transport, or that she doesn't have money for flight, she can't come, that they said we're going to arrange money for her to come and all of that. I said, okay. So I spoke to daddy, I said, eh, we need to find a way for your wife to come so that she can actually take care of you. 
that is all right so you can see why people are saying that ah jasmine has suffered right and it makes sense that they will say that because again um if she uh, if she was there all this while and they're carrying him around and he was sick and the wife was nowhere to be found it makes sense you know that a lot of people will feel that way but let me see no it is not maybe he knew the owner the hotel right 2024 we need to cancel this shop every night time makeup <laughs> did that traumatize you it's only it's marriage that always say i beg can you reduce this thing on the screen <laughs> that's always married i always say that but let's keep going and i won't listen to the full story so there's nothing special that she's saying that we don't already know i might just be skipping every five minutes if the next five minutes is nothing much to you know we'll see said clearly to me that day that he doesn't want his wife to come to the hospital that day that if his wife come he's going to die i'm not the only one he said that to hmm, wait 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 that day that he doesn't want his wife to come to the hospital that day that his okay wife... so he doesn't want the wife to come to the hospital because if the wife come he's going to die okay that's what he said to jasmine now it's making sense why jasmine felt like why she felt like she's she has the keys to the kingdom. All right, let's keep going. Come, he's going to die. I'm not the only one he said that to. Labista, you're still alive. Benedict Johnson, you're still alive. If you people know the truth and you want to be silent about it because you don't want to get involved in family issues, I can understand. But I know very well that you people no, know. they're not going to get. Okay, okay, okay. We okay. pleaded with that. So this is something that Jasmine should learn from these other people. They're not going to get in other people's family issue, right? And rightfully so rightfully so let's keep going with that he pleaded with him for him to allow his wife to come to the hospital he said no and he gave his reasons he gave his reasons he made some some very strong allegations about their marriage about having touching it about um having caught his wife having affairs so many times and all of that which okay so he caught his wife cheating maybe he caught his wife with some fairy stuff maybe with some diabolical stuff he might have reasons why he doesn't want his wife around but guess what you did you talked to him to having the wife now what does that mean to you what if something happens to him when you have now talked him into allowing the wife to come right will you be able to forgive yourself see when people say they don't want to engage in other people's family matter or they say they don't want to leave them alone they have their reasons right i called the wife i told him i said this is what that he said this is what he said he doesn't want you to come that he caught you having an affair and all of those things she said oh that about that that is not true that she never had any affair i'm not here to say whether she had affair or she never had affair because i wasn't there but i'm posing what that well is you just told us that she said she, so if they are dragging her online for being a cheater and lazy and all this kind of stuff you just told us i'm like you can't check social media they're going to drag her for that you know you don't get to just say well i'm not saying she have affair or anything no you just said it they're going to drag her literally with they're going to drag that family they're going to drag him too right they're going to drag him they, because they will drag his wife and it's going to make him look weak he's married to a person who will cheat on him right you're not helping i know you want to help but you're not helping you're helping yourself and you're not helping yourself either because i get it let me just speak my truth you're not helping yourself either let's keep going he said that the, the main reason why he said he didn't want her to come to abuja he said he didn't want her to come that for the past two years he hasn't seen her and she affirmed to me that for the past two years she has not seen him they were only talking on the phone and most of the times he doesn't pick the call and most of the time he's strange as people that she, she doesn't know that we're picking the call so then he didn't want her to be there i was the one pushing for her to come there i was the one pushing for her i told her okay come this is the hospital she asked me where the hospital address was i said come and i told her okay you know what you're going to do find a way so that they will find flight ticket and come when you come then we can now um find a way i raise the money and balance you back because if that is giving his reason saying this is the reason why he doesn't want you to come i cannot go against that will so finally the wife actually talked about that issue. She said she herself said that that he has been telling a lot of people that she has had it from so many places that she's having an affair. But in reality, that it were just mere accusations. That it was hearsay. He was hearing from a lot of people that she never had any affair. I believe whatever she said that period. I believe her. I had no, I had no reason to doubt what it's she was late. saying. So too I just, late, I just, as another, I felt like oh maybe it's just normal misunderstanding between her husband and wife that they were in turn settle later. So later on, she came to the hospital. When she came to the hospital, the first thing that they asked me was her, who brought her here? I said that this person is your wife. Now, you cannot be asking me who brought her here. Then she later said um, her friend, one of her friends, which I'll be mentioning her name in the course of this um, video because a lot of things that happened in that family, she knows. If she's willing to come out and speak up one day, it's on her. If she wants to know the truth and still be silenced about the truth, it's still on her. I will not force anybody to come and speak up or force anybody to come and stand up for me. I won't, that's what they I won't do. Come. So that her friend. How about that? 
Now she, according to the wife, when she landed in Abuja after I sent the address, she said it was that her friend, Ogadima, that actually booked the flight ticket for her. And then she came there. There was one other lady that was there that they later had issue with. Whatever, I don't know. They later had issue with the lady that was there. Okay, so she came to the hospital. Okay, the wife ended up coming to the hospital, and um, you know they were making up, and then there's the fight, all that kind of stuff. The bottom line here is that she helped to rekindle their relationship, I guess. Okay. Uh, shout out to Jasmine for helping rekindling their relationship. Let's keep going. The hospital. So when she came to the hospital, it was me, the other lady that she later had issue with, and daddy at first in the hospital. Before she came, I was the one in the hospital taking care of daddy when I came back. Then some people in La Vista will come, Benedict Justin will come. Some people were coming. Some other people from Nollywood and some people that were there in that hotel that he was lodged at. The people that were looking after him were, were, were paying for his food and his hotel bill. Those people were also frequenting the hospital before she came. So when she came, I stepped down, I was just there, whatever she wants, she would send me a message like her daughter. She was even calling me her daughter, introducing me. She was the one that started introducing me to people as her daughter. Oh, this is my daughter, this is what she has done and all of that. I was working with the flow. I never had issue with her at any point. I was very loyal to her. Never at any point had any issue with her. So, until daddy was not in that hospital for about two weeks. Then his son, his son later came and joined us. Um, Daniel, his son, his second son, sorry, not the one in South Africa. His second son later came and joined us in the hospital. So it was me, daddy, his wife, his son. At the, at, at the hospital and um, subsequently people started coming to the hospital to visit him yes madam mona lisa came to visit him in Hollywood address she was the then secretary of pgn a lot of people came started coming to the hospital to visit him after the, the post i made went viral some people were contributing directly to him some people were giving him cash directly to him at no situation was any money that was given to him taken by me or given to me they were giving it to him either him directly or the wife i was just there in the picture trying to assist with everything so after staying in the hospital for months that is all right I'm going to push this forward by five minutes and see if there's anything new that she's saying. Again, all of this, we can basically suspect that this video was designed to justify her. You don't need IT certifications to earn six figures in tech. I know you've been told... Because bringing problems that time. To, ...to justify herself. That's fine, okay? Um, what she needs to do still, from what we've heard so far, is to just give them some space, okay? Give them them not him per se because it's going to be out there uh, well i don't know now because it's sick right but give them some space right when you come into uh conjugal matters and you come in between them or you try to help them either whatever your intentions are it doesn't matter you know i think that's what a lot of people are stuck at that the intentions were good i agree but that's not good enough, as always. I just said that with the Tyree stuff, everybody else. You need a little bit more than just good intentions. Good intentions is a great place to start from. Sure, you should have good intentions, but you should also manage your expectations around your good intentions. Let's play the next five minutes. Let's see. I'm, I'm moving it, I'm speeding it so we can get through it because she's basically just saying that she didn't do anything wrong. She tried to help this family, okay? And the problem I was the, the, the problem I'm talking about is not like just that uh, they were having they were always 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 quarreling in, in the loudest of their voice. I've uh -huh. never witnessed daddy hitting they were her. Fighting. Or witness, a witness has beaten daddy, but they were always fighting at the, at the top of their voice that daddy would at some point he would start complaining, oh my heart, my chest, and all of those things. He would start complaining as if those things were actually affecting him directly. So then aside from that job i did in, in cyprus i was doing tiktok even when i traveled to gambia and some other african countries i was doing tiktok and then people that knows what tiktok is all about knows that tiktok is one social media platform that pays very well if you're very creative and you know what you're doing if you go on tiktok like you have a lot of people getting you and all of that so i started telling her i said okay now that that is not working that this tiktok thing i showed her how i was making my income and all, all of that i said this tiktok thing might actually be something that would work for you people she said okay she's very interested that i should create an account for her i should teach her how she can do the TikTok thing, oh, which I, I did, I politely did. Out of the I goodness of your account. heart, I even went as far as growing her TikTok account to one hundred and fourteen thousand followers. That it is. Wow, she actually has one hundred and thirteen thousand followers. Her own page, that's good for her. Today, I was doing content for her, even while we're in Abuja. We're, we're talking about Stella Maris now. I was doing content for her. I was shooting the videos, everything on that TikTok platform till it grew to that amount of followers it has. Was all my oh. doing. Then later on. I started doing daddy TikTok. She said I should also help daddy bring daddy back to social media that people don't know uh, that daddy has gone out of the limelight. Maybe he can start having a job. That is how I started creating content with daddy, bringing him back to the limelight so that he can at least afford the least school fees. And as I speak, I know there are so many people in the industry that can attest to the fact that I was not the only one that he was calling and asking for finance. Because when I came, I had a lot of stuff. A lot of people were telling me that he was asking for finance for as many people as possible. People, everybody knew that the time I came back to Nigeria, daddy was at his lowest. Mm. He was at his lowest. He was asking for the least 2,000 naira from anybody that cared. To sustain his family he was asking for the least of one thousand naira. he was asking for money from anybody be it a stranger anybody so a lot of people knew that i was not the only person that knows that daddy was at his lowest when i came back to nigeria that he wasn't doing fine at all financially 
So that was how I was able to set up the TikTok thing for both her and and Daddy. And when I came back, Daddy's um, Instagram account was hacked. His account was hacked. He was not active on Instagram. In fact, Jesus. his account was hacked while he was in the hospital. And we later find out who hacked his account. He's also somebody in the Nollywood. I don't want to mention him because the case was taken to. Oh, um, I am sorry. The case was taken to Aja Police Station. I was the one that found out because I was chatting the account, and then the person was chatting me. He sent details to send money. I later found out who the person was. I was the one that reported the case to Aja Police Station. Paid for every investigation to go on. And when the investigation go, uh, went on, they tracked the person and they brought the person to 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 Aja Police Station for me to recover that account. There's this guy called Jenna, Jenna of Insta, uh, Jenna on Instagram. So I paid Jenna five hundred thousand on Instagram to help recover that account. Now they recovered that is account, uh, Instagram uh, Instagram account. After they recovered the 500, Instagram account, five hundred thousand. If I that money, I told the wife, I said, okay, see, 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 how are we going to raise the money? She was like, mm, let's forget about the account. That then uh, is something we can always do. That that money is not important to pay that kind of money. In that, I remember that I called my immediate younger brother. I said, please, can you loan me five hundred thousand? So the next day, I'll be able to send it to you. Let me just quickly solve this problem. Out. He did. I show, she was there when the money came and everything, and we solved that problem. And when the guy was arrested, he later compensated daddy with I think one point something million naira. All right. So again, so far we're getting the gist that. Stella Maris is problematic. That's not new. I guess it's nice for you to hear from Jasmine, okay? But I'm going to push it forward by five minutes. Let me see. She's saying something else new, okay? The, the, my stance is still, she needs to excuse herself for our own good. Give herself. So anytime I ask people to give people space, actually, they need the space more. Anytime somebody said, please give me some space, maybe your wife came to you and said, I need some space. You probably need that space. You probably haven't realized you haven't been taking care of yourself. You probably need that space more than she does. Take the space for your own good. I know you have good intentions. You want to keep the family, but sometimes you need to breathe. You need to breathe. You need to, to let the situation breathe so that you can so you can have a better chance of actually actually repairing things, you know. But if you are going to be stubborn and stay there, I say that like, you might end up at Alagbon for no reason. And it will all be out of the goodness of your heart and you mean well and right. So I'll be very honest with you. Listening to her right now is still the same thing. She's painting the picture that she was good to them. Nonetheless, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about when you're good to them. Is the timing off? Is the timing right? What are all the other issues that are going on behind the scenes? What are all the other factors that goes into this? Are we talking about a husband and wife that have a very toxic relationship? Are we talking about a man whose life was messy before you came into it? Uh, is this a project for you? Are you trying to fix another man's life that clearly is probably not as interested as you are? He will figure his own self out. That's probably how he lived his life all his life. But you're gonna put it together. But you see what just happened now, right? So Yoruba people actually say, or oh, anyone, when you're going to do goodness out of the goodness of your heart, manage your expectations. Make sure that you're that you're already getting more than enough rewards. Alright? And you're not putting too, so much weight on yourself, trying to expect rewards from that same angle. Because Stella Maris and Mr. Ibu, they were managing their life, so they knew why they were separated for two years. They knew right imagine trying to talk to mr ebu and trying to preach at him about relationships with stella maria and say ah you two that do you think he's gonna listen to you no he knows what he's doing that's his lifestyle if he was separated from his wife and children for two years he knew was that that's the lifestyle you know but let's keep going let's play another five minutes at 1.5 speed and let's see what she said anything new I don't think there's anything new that she's going to say that we will find useful, by the way. But let's just do it. I said the way I saw him, I don't think he's willing to come back. In fact, he was saying he's going to stay there for about three months and later go to Abuja. That's his plan that they were working on something. The guy he was they were working on something on one program that could likely bring him money. I had faith that whatever it is they're working on will likely bring him money. So I said, okay. Well, so when I came back, when we came back, I had a conversation with her. I remember we really did. That was the first time she played there with me. She said, look. Prior to when I came back, that daddy has left the house severally in a very lengthy period of time since he stopped getting jobs and things stopped working out for him. That she, that and most of the time that he's not around, most of the time he's outside. When she contacts the people he's with, she's not able to reach out to him. And now that I've rented a house and it's a five bedroom um, duplex in in like very close, not very far, because when I was looking for that house, I was with them. So when I went, to, I, was li I was living with them when I went to look for the house. So I didn't look for somewhere that is very far. I look for a place that is very okay for it. was actually myself and her that went to look for the place. You understand? So we got a place that was very close. So she was pleading with me that, ah, can daddy come and stay with me for a while? That 
if you even if it's the TikTok thing that we are doing that is bringing money, let's be doing it. At least she seems much more money to set to starting things. Like if he's that one that is working out, let's do it. At least she'll be able to reach out to him if he's in my place. Other than him being in certain places that she's not able to reach out with him, he, sometimes she cannot communicate with him, you know. And whenever they communicate, he always end up in a fight. At least fight. to some certain extent, he listens to me and all that. And after that, that for me, my fa- my mother is in the same house, my son is in the same house, my younger brother is in the same house, and my husband, my ex-husband is actually coming. He's actually in the same house at that time. That for daddy to come, in, come and stay with us in the house, it's gonna be like a very big family. And I told her that I can only allow that in one condition. If his son, his second son, that, that was also with us in Lagos, then can come and move in with him, so that it would be a situation of a son taking care of a father in my house. It wouldn't completely be my responsibility. So she later we had later had a conversation about it myself, the second son and her, and then we agreed. We said, okay, daddy will come and stay with me. Oh, after she pleaded with me, and if any of these things I'm saying, if you guys feel is lies, I'm going to put evidences out here. So daddy finally moved in with me. When daddy moved in initially, she used to come to the house. Mm. In fact, you know, initially she was coming to the house at, at all times. She would come when she comes, when she wants to go, she would take food stuff and all that things and take back to the house. I never complain. I never complain. I was treating her I was treating her like my mom. Even my mom would sometimes say, I'm treating this woman more than I'm treating her. Her friend would attest to it. Her friend, her friends always say that I have so much respect for her. That the kind of respect I have for her. They've never seen anybody that respected her like that. You know? I used to call her mommy. I don't even call her by her name. Most people my age call her by her name. What is called Estella? I call her mommy. You know, and she introduced me to all her friends, telling her friend that um, I'm, I'm a daughter to her. It's one of her friends that has salon very close to my house. She told her friend that I'm a daughter. In fact, when this whole issue happened, the friend called me and she said she's surprised that this same person that was telling me that you've done this for her, she's done what happened? How did this, how did things went this bad? How did things escalate like this? What really happened? You know, when I said I was closer to her than I was with daddy, most time when she wants to do something, she'll come and meet me and tell me to do, tell daddy, like when she started talking about daddy selling property, she went to meet daddy several and told him about selling property. Daddy quite didn't sit well with it. She had to come to me and say, please help me talk to him. He listens to you. Talk to him in the way you understand. Because if I'm talking to him, he will think, oh, I'm doing this because I want to use the money for my selfish reason. Let him see reasons that he needs to sell this property so that. Uh, same thing. Um, Jasmine has the key to the kingdom. That's what this is about. I'm just going to move up a little bit. Yeah, this is boring Hi, to me, I'm by Nicole the way. I'm Nicole Hockley from Sandy Hook Promise. I'm bored I know this is mind. hard to hear, but it's important. I wasn't expecting much. It wasn't like there was a pattern I was following. I wasn't following any pattern. I, it's not like I studied this in school. I was just doing my thing from the depths of my heart, from the genuineness of my heart, and things were coming along. You know, I thought, okay, I was going to help you, you know, find a way you're going to grow your page. I'll give you some tips. And I was actually giving her some tips on how to build her page. Well, we still talk about but TikTok. I know, this was a pure case of envy and jealousy. A case of envy oh, and jealousy. Envy from that point jealousy. when they dragged me on social media from the first time, then they claimed that they apologized. Later, she went on this lover. She sent a whole different, a, a different things were happening in the police station. Different things were being carried on this lover. She said, eh, Mr. Ebo has gone back to the family. Him and the wife has to confirm. And the Jasmine girl has What happened? That same day, after this lover dragged me, after I was dragged on social media, after the wife uh, paraded me on social media as a terrible person, after the whole reconciliation, where did the man sleep? Where did daddy, where did Mr. Ebo sleep? He still came back to sleep in my house. Hmm. He still came back to sleep in my house. After the whole thing, the wife came back or came out on social media and said, I have accepted Jasmine as uh, my, 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 my adopted daughter. I have not accepted that. You were the one that started telling people that I was your daughter. You were the one that started parading me as your daughter. You were telling all, your, all of your friends that I'm, I'm your daughter, that I've been like a daughter to you, that I'm the, I've been of help to you. You were the one parading me like that. Then you came and said, you've accepted me as your daughter. You've accepted me as a social media manage, uh, and manager and, and what's not. You know? Social media manager. Anything. You know, after much, we did an interview at Daddy Freeze because that first time I had all the proofs, thank God. Both the money I was sending to her, I showed everything on Daddy Free's life. Both the, the land they just said, they just sold, the land they sold, everything. Whatever happened that period was just a case of jealousy. I don't know where that jealousy emitted from. Because you you, sh- you cannot jealous somebody that you are benefiting from. You cannot every someone that you... Yes, you can. Okay, these are the issues here. Yes, you can jealous somebody that you are benefiting from. What kind of world does she live in? What version of this world does she live in? You can jealous, you can be jealous of the person that you are benefiting from if you feel like it was all your rights in the first place. You know how people jump out in this internet street and they talk about it's my rights. I have the right to, you know, like Mr. Aloba, I have the right to demand, right? Because I am the right. Everybody, everybody claims it's their rights, right? So she feels like it's her right that she should be able to go to her husband and ask for things without feeling the need. As far as she's concerned, she comes to you when her back is pushed against the wall. Like, can you please help me talk to him? But she resents that. She doesn't like that. She can't stand your presence. And you couldn't tell. <laughs> and that's even worse. I mean, you're a young girl, so you might not be able to tell, but eh, now you've learned. People that benefit from you can be jealous of you. Take that back to the bank. 
okay because as far as they're concerned if you were not present if you didn't exist it will all be theirs and they didn't have to go through you remember they're benefiting from you but they didn't have to go through you she missed that mm. benefiting from you know that you are benefiting directly from this person if i'm a terrible person as the whole world is spending that's why she's disappointed uh mara says you can jealous yes listen i know you can jealous right <laughs> god help us um disappointments only come from unrealistic expectations mismanaged expectations no expectations no disappointment right but obviously it's not realistic for us to say we don't have expectations we have expectations but when your expectations are off disappointments will follow then you'll be like how can you be jealous of me what they can be jealous of you. You are the problem. You are the one in their way. It to be. Will I open a TikTok account for that woman and grow the account? Will I in any way contribute to her paying her children's school fees? Will I be spending? I mean, she can interpret it as because you are making money too, like you are using them too, right? Remember, a few people are accusing you of using the family, right? You feel used. Remember, you too, you feel used, right? So it just depends on what angle are you are you seeing it just from your own angle. Well, here's the thing. The common sense angle will say you shouldn't be jealous of a person that you're benefiting from. That's common sense. <laughs> but guess where common sense belongs, right? Hmm. Common sense straight in the water water. Let's continue. Let me not call it a waste of time. Going live with daddy, generating money, and still remitting that money to her and daddy. I don't even want to. I don't even want to look at, go back and look at the sacrifices I've made for this family. You know, people say this guy is using Mr. Ibu. She's using, how am I using Mr. Ibu? How am I using Daddy? I want to know. How am I that is an outlook. That is some people's perspective. They see you as using Mr. Ibu, right? And like I said, if you cannot be used, then maybe you're useless. I don't really see using a person is not really problematic for me. The question is that are they benefiting from you using them? Can they get some value from you using them, right? If you're in any kind of relationship, any type of relationship, you might have gone through moments where you felt like somebody is using you because you're caught up in your feelings in that moment in time. They're caught up in their feelings. So I'm not, it's not Jasmine's fault. I think she's young and she's just coming off to life and she's discovering life for the first time. But whatever was going, the fact that she could fit into that mess also says a lot about her. And she's not going to run around this internet street as the victim okay no I, I just don't think she's a victim okay she felt used valid okay but I bet Stella Maris will say she's using us my husband is the star what does she want what do you want right she might not have said it out loud while she was benefiting getting a hundred thousand from you three hundred thousand you helped her grow her page she probably have no idea the value of the page you grew she doesn't she doesn't have a sense of the value of a page that has a hundred thousand followers on tiktok because you handed it to her that's another thing when you hand you dash people stuff they might not value it the same way you value it that's another lesson how can you be using someone that is benefiting directly from you a lot of people say she's a sugar daddy. Look at me very well mm. at my age. Mm. If I want to go and have a sugar daddy, I'll look for one that is doing very well, financially okay, that can actually provide for me, not somebody that directly is benefiting from me. Wait, she said that? Ouch. I wouldn't have said that. Uh, no, she shouldn't have said that. But hey, mm. I'm going to end it there. You know, I think that's all I'm going to go there. We get the gist she helped the family she felt used and then she ended up going to jail for helping a family that really could not appreciate it you know and baba could not help himself you know so it is what it is if there's any more that we didn't cover that you want us to cover that you feel like is particular is a particular intricate part of this story that you know kind of like how Bobo did with the mobad please feel free to use the comment section i will touch on it if i feel like it's an important piece of information but at this point in time i think the lessons stand where they are i think uh for our own good i keep saying that for our own good she needs to give herself space from the mr Ibu drama so she can she has the skills 
so she can put herself together, you know. But that's all I have for you today. I'm right on time. I want to make sure that we stay on time in this season so we can be a lot more productive. Do me a favor, hit that like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications so you are notified whenever we go live, okay? Did she go to jail? Yeah, yeah, I think she went to jail, actually, absolutely. Uh, I, I don't think anybody debunked that. She went to jail, she got picked up because uh, Stella Maris uh, filed a petition because there's some 50 million Naira that was missing. And uh, her and uh, and uh, the son went to jail. Uh, they were picked up, they were in Alagmo, I think, and they were released on bail. The report is on premium times. And I think it's after that that she decided to come and do uh, this shalaya here. But yeah, I, you know, no evidence. Please, 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 because no evidence. Listen, the reality is I believe her. I believe that she tried to help as much as she can. I believe that she was benefiting from something from that. I believe that she fit into their drama for a reason. She's not exactly innocent, okay? Uh, that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. It just means sometimes when you're about my story or anyone you know make sure that you are also gauging things and making sure you understand how life works uh yes people that are benefiting from you can be jealous of you if you can't read the room that is a major problem okay that's your people that said that please have somebody else translate to you I think we should leave it at that for today. Hopefully you've been enlightened, educated. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.